David Taub here from nextlevelguitar.com. What's up? Hope uh, your guitar journeys are going well. Glad to be here. And uh, we've been getting a lot of emails about how do I know what year my uh, Fender Stratocaster is from? How do I go about uh, dating it? So I thought I'd do a little bit of information for you on, uh, first we'll do um, the Mexican made Stratocasters and, and how to properly know what year that uh, your guitar is from. And then we'll do another one on the American made Stratocasters. The Fender Mexican made Strats, actually it's pretty simple. Um, the American Strats, it's a little bit harder to dial in the date. And um, if you wanna read more information about dating your uh, Fender instrument, or amplifier, um, Fender has a lot of good information on their website. You just go to Fender.com and then click on support and then product dating. And then they have different uh, pages for like uh, um, Mexican made strats, Japanese made strats, American made instruments, uh, banjos, amplifiers, you know, um, and they do a good job with that. Um, so uh, this actually is a Fender Mexican made strat. I have a few. Fender uh, Mexican Strats, and I have a, quite a few uh, American-made Strats. They're of my favorite instruments. I mainly play live uh, Fender Strats, Mexican and American-made, and uh, Gibson Les Pauls and Paul Reed Smiths. Those are kind of my trio arsenal of destruction, I like to call them. The trilogy, so to speak. Those are some of my favorite guitars. Um, I like others also, but I just seem to always gravitate toward those three. And um, the Mexican-made Fender Stratocasters are pretty good instruments. I think they're a very good value for the money and um, a great beginner guitar. And um, they stay in tune well. And like I say, I play this instrument out with my band a lot. Um, and I really like them. Um, so as far as dating the instrument, this one is actually a uh, 98. And I'm going to show you a close-up of the headstock. now. It's a little different than the American-made Stratocasters, which are a lot more difficult to dial in the date because of the in, in, uh, consistencies in the Fender dating um, where they put the dates on the actual guitars or the serial numbers throughout their history. You know, often it's on the butt end of the neck. Um, when you take the neck off, obviously it could be on the headstock, on the front or the back. Um, on American Strats, I found the little tags with the, with the serial numbers or the date um, in the neck pockets once you take the neck off or in the pickup cavities or on the underside of the pick guard and uh, sometimes even scratched into the pick guard. Um, whereas the Mexican made strats, you're mainly going to deal with the serial number that's on the headstock and it's really easy. Um, it's a two letter prefix followed by five or six numbers. Um, the, 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 the letters will give you the decade. If it's, it's either going to be an MN or an MZ. MN refers to Mexican 90. So if you see MN and then five or six numbers, you, you immediately know, well, I probably have a Mexican made strap made sometime in the 90s. Or if you see MZ, um, Mexican made Z being 0, 2000. So usually it's a 2000 made in the 2000s. So that's how you can narrow it down just by looking at it quickly by the decade. And then to get the approximate year within a year or two, the third after the MN or MZ, you'll have a, a series of five or six numbers. And I'll show you a close-up of a headstock of, of this guitar, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The third number will give you the approximate year. So this one, the particular one is MN8314976. MN8. The 8 means that um, it was made in, uh, because it's M, Mexican, N90s, 8, 98, 99. So that's how I know this guitar is a late 90s model Mexican Strat. If it was an MN uh, and then let's say a, a, a 1, that would be an early model, would be like a 91 or 92. If it was an MN6, it would be a 1996 or 1997 model. So you could really quickly target the year. I, I haven't seen many where they have, you know, the date or the serial number on the pick guard or underneath the pick guard or in the pickup cavities. Maybe they did. I haven't seen that. Um, mainly with the Mexican strats on the headstock. And the same thing for the, for if it's a 2000 or above, it'll be MZ and then the first digit will give you the approximate year. MZ0 will be a 2000 to 2001. MZ5 will be 2005 to 2006. And that's pretty much it. And that's how you know the year um, of your Mexican-made Stratocaster. So here's another Mexican-made Fender Stratocaster. And on the headstock, this one's MN4. And then uh, another five numbers. 
Um, so this is MN, Mexican, 90s. Uh, and the four means 94, 95. So this one's made around 1994, 95. Fender Mexican made Stratocaster. Check them out. They're really good instruments. I recommend them for anyone if you want to try a Stratocaster and you don't want to plink down, you know, over $1,000 for a new one. You could find these used on eBay or your local Craigslist uh, much cheaper. And um, the thing I like about the actually the 90s, especially the mid late 90s models, for some reason they they change the pickups and and the pickups are much hotter. I've always found hotter pickups in those guitars and and then uh, once it hit like 2000 and so the pickups seem to have gotten a lot weaker and on um, on occasionally I, I recommend replacing them because they are kind of weak. But on the 90s, um, I'm I'm never disappointed. I'm always plugged them in. I'm like, wow, it sounds pretty good. I really I really like that hotter pickup sound. So check them out. See if you like them and uh, go to our website at nextlevelguitar.com. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, over 600 video lessons, uh, written lessons, jam tracks. We have a guitar forum, uh, chord library, all kinds of great stuff. Uh, there's a three-day pass we're doing right now. I don't know how long we'll do it for, but right on the home page, you can try out the site You know, for three days and see if you like it because we have lessons for beginners, intermediates, advanced. If you've never touched the guitar, you could learn how to play or if you just want to get your playing to the next level. Um, we also have, you know, lessons on gear and amps and theory and uh, guitar care and settings, effects, and we try to hit the whole spectrum. So I think you'll really like the website. So if you get a chance, check it out and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube videos by clicking on that subscribe button um, um, up here in the, uh, on this side of the YouTube page. And then you'll be notified of, of all our, um, when we come out with new YouTube lessons. I'm David Taub with nextlevelguitar.com. Keep rocking on. I will see you soon. Take care and put those guitars in your hands every day.